Go to a champion that he was known for quite a bit at last year's Worlds. That's risk. An incredibly high damage roster. The Rumble, the Olaf, the Malzahar. The Opus forced it away level one. Ramana only has the jump. He's gonna go for the jump off to the side, getting away from the axe, but it's gonna be enough damage for Mountain. One more chop, and there's the first blood for HQ into the top lane. Huge answer top side there for Mountain. And Good being here comes Yankos looking for the gank. Almost a bit low. Walks right in, but suddenly Mountain's there as well, and he lands the stun. So Vander to keep him alive. Puts the shield up, blocks some of the hits now. Once again, exhaust now onto Mountain, running out of HP, onto the trap as well, and forgiven! Gets HUK's first kill of the tournament. The snipe, not gonna mean too much as Albus tanks it, but look at this now, 400 gold lead for the European team. Carry. Yeah. And that's a good play by Albus to set that up. Yeah, very important thing with the ult is from, uh, oh, let's see, uh, for after. the slow, actually. Just putting damage to the west, so that's actually gonna be enough to get the chase in! Has to oh. be back in perfect oh. by Ryu! When the Q landed, he knew he had it! His body told him yes, and he makes it go. Game, and it's up to H2K to make sure they don't get to that late game point. And they're looking to push it in. Yankos up through the jungle, spots Mountain with the ward. Odwamna now looking for it as well, and Olaf now in a bad spot. Ults at the right time to get away from Cocoon. Trades blows back into Yankos, but when the cooldowns come up, he's dead, and Odwamna flashes to get the chase, lands the boomerang, and knocks him down. And suddenly, this is bad news bears for Ziv. The rumble is alone, but a fight in the bot lane, not quite gonna land it, as Ziv clears the oh, wave. Keep your wave. Summoner teleport. And oh, he grounds him. Ziv cannot take off. Oh. He will get the kill on Yankos, though. A nice trade coming in, but he is poisoned. Ryu will take him down. We mentioned the play style here for the two mid laners. Not only does it make. And Yankos is actually setting up on a ward. ward. Yep, there's the slow runs into his face. There's not much places to go with this one. It's going to be a stun and a banner. The assassin is going to come through. Albus gets the last hit, and Tempered Fate buys a few more seconds. Oh. There's the rocket, and it's forcing several flashes out of H2K, who are running out of HP as well. One kill picked up. A little bit too predictable with constantly setting around his mid tower, and finally they could just move in and actually stop them. One kill, two dragons, remember, for HQ. Oh, oh the stun's gonna land for Given! He's gone! Albus, unlucky, gets the kill again. Best you could have hoped for. We can set the back. So Ryu on a ward, trying to make the play. He's just running out of HP way too fast. There's the kill picked up. And again, mistakes by H2K in the mid game. Wards don't just save lives. They also... Step one is always pushing up that mid lane. It gives you access to the river. And then you go to Baron, you go to... Whoa, oh, the flash. Play the run with a chance to flash out. And on, it's going to get blasted. Well played by Ryu. Now for the re-engage. A lot of damage coming across the burn. Back and forth. I don't know. It's a few. But Ryu has the slows now on the mountain. He's already lost his ultimate. It's a 5v4. And it might be more for this one. Not gonna land the ulti though from Vander and AHQ will survive with the rest of the Yes. It becomes difficult, especially without Oh, here comes Westor with the ghost. Where's he going? Looking for the play. Gets the ulti on the Yankos. Tempered fate to dodge the rest of the team. And he's gonna drop right down on the flame choppers. There's the root, there's the kill. Great snipe picked up. Westor setting it all up and making it happen. And now no jungler. Let's go Baron. Yeah, Yankos greeting with the flash here. As soon as Westor was in range, Yankos could have flashed out, but no, he saved it. Then he got stunned. Then he got locked down after HK wants this though. Ryu has enough mana and enough health to take a team fight. Knock up on the Albus, looking to take down the support. There's Baron picked up really quick by the red team, but the team fight's not oh. going in. The back line is safe from H2K, and, and they're putting in a ton of damage right now. On staying alive, gets the snipe. Now the re-engage from Ryu is gonna pick up Mountain, and he will. On life steals on a ward, gets away from the poison, but be careful, AHQ. It's gonna be on. Figuring out if he wants to go. Oh! The snipe nearly takes down Forgiven, but H2K can't get much more. Two dead from <laughs> H2K very soon. Will there be a re-engage? A quick snipe on the Albus. Not gonna land much of the tempered fate. And now it's Yankos finding the stun of the West Door. They're gonna go for the mid laner, and AHQ are gonna lose their Malzahar. It's a 5v4 now. H2K looking for a little bit more on this one. Not gonna land the Zap. Just teleport out. That's why AHQ are forcing this Baron and go burning it down. 5v4 force. Ryu is in full swing though. He's gonna dodge away from some of this. Got a half HP. Mountain wants in. And oh it's gonna my. be the Mega Death Taking him out. Oh, I'm taking a ton of health though. He's got a kite back. Yankos has not killed him yet. Almost to kite away, and then we'll keep him alive. It's two for zero. This is not good for H2K. They've got to get out a flash to get away from Tempered Fate, and that'll be a secure Baron you have to expect for AHQ. Yeah, Ryu ended up just going aggressive alone here, trying to chase down the Jinx. He ends up getting caught in line. Two, two, three versus five. Onto Odomna. He has Guardian Angel. The pool doing so much damage. They're going to find Vander on flash the wall, staying alive. Gets forgiven as well. This is the whitewash. H2K losing everybody. Odomna, the last one to fall. That is it. That's gonna be Baron and AHQ with a significant lead. It was just a matter of time before AHQ. Yeah, yeah unlucky. Lost their lives for this one as AHQ have also managed to knock down the mid inhibitor and then come down, take the L. Kobe, you highlighted the amount of 
HP's gonna get back to start right after because Looking engaged. For the play, great equalizer off the top. Vanda running out of health, and he's gonna get sniped down. Another kill picked up here. Odwamna running for dear life under a thousand. And it's gonna be already the inhibitor turret gone. The inhibit self also 5v4. AHQ still worrying Buster for a couple more seconds. Looking for the death now. Looking to take it down right now. They've got super minions. They've got a ton of damage on a forgiven. 600 damage crit there. The first turret gonna fall. Looking for number two as well as Ziv in the battle with Odoan that gets revenge from earlier on in the game. And that's gonna be the second turret down. Five versus three. H2K backs against the wall. The recall and the teleport back in for Ziv to be full HP to go for the next to close it out here in the group stage. One more hit will do it. Not quite gonna find the kill. Oh, they're actually gonna lose his life, but they're going for the Nexus. They're gonna have the damage, and AHQ takes down H2K for the first match of the group stage. This game honestly went almost as predicted. Early game in favor of H2K. Late game in favor of AHQ, but H2K simply didn't manage to snowball their advantage. Mid game, way too often didn't they have any objective in mind, and when they actually thought about Baron, there was this vision in the river, never invade the enemy jungle, never really push it further, and AHQ just had enough time to scale into late game and start punishing mistakes from H2K. AHQ honestly played so well around that Baron though. You know, on taking that CS deficit in the Jinx lane, they were fine with doing it. They had the Bard as well to try and you know, move across the map and create plays. The, the biggest issue has been Westor for them. Moving forward in this group stage, uh, if we're looking at this team to really make that push and, and get out, which they're in a very good yes. position to do, uh, I think that there are definitely still some things that need to work on with Westor. Both European teams lost now yep. against the two teams that were fighting against for that second.